everybody, today I'm going to give you some general top tips for an interview. So you can apply these tips to a university interview, a job interview, um, an interview for maybe an apprenticeship or something like that. Um, so hopefully these tips will help you for sort of any of those things. We do actually have a more specific um, university interview top tips on the channel as well that Hannah and Anna have created. So I'll pop a link to that in the description below so you can go and check that out afterwards. Um, but hopefully you'll find this video helpful as well. So tip number one is don't be late. It's great if you can plan your route and allow extra time. So even if it means you getting to the interview extra early and grabbing a coffee and going over any notes. So if it's for a job, for example, you might grab a coffee somewhere and go over your CV and have a little read through your application or something like that. If it's for a university interview, you might take that time to reread your personal statement, for example. But yeah, it's definitely better to be early and have time to do that um, than to be late because you don't want to arrive being sort of stressed out and not really knowing where you've got to be and things like that. Um, so it's definitely important to allow yourself plenty of extra time. It sounds silly as well, but there's also little details. So bringing enough change for the car park or, you know, checking the day before that there's definitely going to be parking and having a look on Google Maps to see where it is you're going to park and things like that. Um, just planning everything ahead um, so that you don't have to stress at the last minute. If for some reason you are late and it's completely out of your hands, it's always important to call ahead. I'm sure the interviewer will be understanding, but as long as you sort of let them know as soon as you can, I'm sure it'll be fine. Tip number two is to think about your non-verbal communication. So this is things like your body language. So, you know, making sure you're keeping good eye contact with the interviewer, um, making sure you're not tapping your foot or fiddling with a pen. Not only will that make it look like you're slightly not interested in what's going on, um, but it will probably distract from what you are actually saying to the interviewer as well. And of course, making sure that you're dressed appropriately. So for things like job interviews, just making sure you're dressed smartly and that you give a good first impression. Um, same goes for university interviews. Obviously, with university interviews, it might vary. So for example, for my university interview, um, I wanted to look smart, but I also knew we had a practical activity. Um, so I sort of wore like leggings and clothes that I could move in, um, but I popped a nice top over the top um, with a little blazer as well. So I sort of looked smart, made a good first impression, but was also in clothes that I could move about in. Um, it may be for things like sports degrees that you actually have to bring a separate PE kit and that you have a separate interview. Um, so you might, you know, arrive dressed smart, but bring a separate little sort of kit um, for the practical activity. But with things like university, interviews and apprenticeship interviews you can always call ahead and check the dress code if you are worried about what you should be wearing and um, but they tend to give you all the information in an email or in a letter when they actually invite you to that interview anyway tip number three is to think about your verbal communication so this is actually what you say so i think is nowhere near as effective as i know it's really important that you have confidence in what you are saying you don't just want to make statements you want to give examples so you don't just want to state that you used to work in tesco you want to give an example of how that actually helped you and developed you so it might be that you give a specific example of dealing with a particularly difficult customer um, and you can talk about how that helped you think on your feet, that helped your communication skills, um, maybe juggling a part-time job and your college course shows your organisational skills. So you've got to talk about how those skills from that particular experience have helped and developed you and that'll be a lot more strong than just sort of stating what experience you've had. Tip number four is to understand what you are applying for. Obviously that goes without saying, but it's really important that you show that you actually have an understanding of exactly what's going to be required of you throughout that apprenticeship, throughout that job role, or throughout that degree. That just shows that you aren't just going into it without any thought and that you are really prepared to take on that role. Tip number five is to demonstrate your passion. Now this one is really important. You need to demonstrate your passion throughout the whole interview. The whole time you're speaking, it needs to be clear that you're passionate about what you are talking about. Show that you know your stuff, show that you've done your research. You know, if you're going for a job as a sales assistant, maybe show that you've done a little bit of research into that particular company, or maybe show that you've done a little bit of research into retail sales today and what the stats are and things like that. If you're looking to do a degree in business and digital communications, for example, it might be important that you've looked into social media today and what works and what doesn't and things like that. So it's just important to show you've done your research and that will definitely show that you've got a passion for that particular role as well. So those are my five top tips for a general interview. 
I have got a few little points to end on, one of those being that it might be important to collate a portfolio of your work. Um, it may be that for some interviews you're actually asked to bring a portfolio or bring proof of certificates and qualifications and things like that, um, but if you're not asked it might be nice just to have that stuff hidden away in a little folder that you can bring along with you um, so that if they do ask about a certain qualification or if they ask about a certain work experience it might be that you have a little bit of a write-up that you can show them um, and it just gives you that extra edge really. And my last little tip is to try and ask a relevant question at the end as well. Obviously an interview is predominantly based on an interviewer asking you questions so if you can have a little question prepared for you to ask at the end it just shows your interest um, in that role or in that university. Um, so yeah just try and have something that you can ask them at the end, whether it be um, about the job role or about the company that you're going to work for or something like that. Um, just have a little question to ask at the end as well. So that brings us to the end of this video. Hopefully you are able to apply these sort of general top tips to any interview that you may have coming up. If you do have any further questions, please pop them in the comments below or get in touch with us on our social media. Um, and if you need any extra help, I can answer those questions for you. But until then, thank you for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye!